Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Today in this video, I want to take a look at the Flysky i6s timing feature because this one, or a timer feature, this one has a timer feature. That's kind of nice. So let's take a look at that and I'll show you how it works. So you, we can see here on the uh, on the main screen here, we have T1 and T2. That's timer one and timer two. If we click on it, we enter the timer menu and you'll see we have timer one all these different options and then timer two same options right here so let's set up timer one first first thing we need to do is assign a switch so it says switch we need to assign one we'll tap on that and the we have the reset switch and the start switch and so the enable switch i'm going to set this as switch a because that would be my arming switch for a quadcopter and i'm going to set it to up and then the reset switch, what we could do, we could set it to any of these switches, or let's just set it to the same switch, and it will be down. So essentially, we'll turn the timer on when it's up and turn it off when it's down. And this right here is the switch that I'm talking about, right there. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can choose which mode we want. So if we click on that, we can decide if we want it to count up, count down, or count down and then count up. So let's say we want it to count down and then now we'll click setup right here. And right now it's set for five minutes and that might that might be a good amount of time. I think what I would do is probably set this for whatever time that I thought would be good to let me know like, hey, you've been flying a while, you probably wanna land. Um, and of course, if I'm flying a quadcopter, I will probably have the voltage in my OSD so this this could be for another reason aside from the battery in any case let's set this right now it's set to five minutes let's change this to zero minutes and let's say five seconds for this example because I, I probably don't want to sit here for five minutes to wait for it to count down and let's go back and let's go to the main menu here so we can see in the main menu if i flip this switch we start counting down and then that is the alarm. Now, one bad thing about this is, well, you heard, you just heard that alarm is super short. It's like a three second alarm. So if, if you don't quite catch it, you know, right away, if you don't hear it right away, you might miss it. And then also, uh, it's not very loud. And that's because I turned down all the beeping noises because they're really annoying. And you can't, you can't have the alarm be loud and then all of the other beeping noises be turned down. So that's kind of unfortunate because you either have to go into the settings and have every beep sound be really loud in order to hear the timer or you just have to try and listen for a quiet timer. Now, another thing we can do, we can go back into the timer menu here and set up the second timer. Now for the second timer, we what we could do is we could have it like a total armed time sort of timer. So we could assign the same switch, the arming switch. And this um, this could be for either an airplane or a quadcopter. Unfortunately, on the i6s, as far as I know, you can't actually set up an arming switch for an airplane. If you know how to do that, leave a comment below, but I have not figured out how to do that yet. So we'll, we'll still use the same switch. We'll use switch A, and let's say we want it to turn on when it's in the up position. Let's get back over to here and so the, let's see, we'll say we do want it to count up and that's basically it. So this will just kind of keep track of the total armed time. So now if we flip this switch up, we can see that it is counting up. So if we go to the main menu here, you see our, our timer just went off, but the T2, the timer two is still going. Um, and it will stop, but it won't It won't erase itself, but it will stop the timer whenever the switch is in the down position. So that could be, that could also be kind of helpful to give you an idea maybe of how long um, you've been flying. And then um, you see it beeped again because, because timer one, whoops, timer one will reset itself automatically. So that could be kind of nice. So there you go, folks. That is how the timer system works on the i6s. If you use this and enjoy it, let us know. Let me know. Leave me a comment because I'm, I'm curious to see 
if people actually use this feature. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. If you have questions about this, leave me a comment and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more FlySky stuff, check out this video or playlist right over here. I've got a whole bunch of FlySky videos just for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.